So it's a farm diversification strategy. This this sort of business is going to be the future of farming, certainly in this country, on a smaller scale. Roger here and he's come up on the farm from Alan Collier and we've got a, a farm diversification um, idea plan on the farm and it's to uh, build some gallops on the farm so the gallops will be um, for people who enjoy uh, riding horses they'll be able to come onto the farm and ride around the farm at, uh, on a on a gallop which is a, an oval or is going to be an oval uh, course around this field so it's a farm diversification strategy we found that and um, actually by doing something like this um, it's going to be more profitable than growing the crops on the land which we've used. So it's a strategy which will hopefully be sustainable going into the future. A lot of people around this area, around the Norfolk and, Norfolk and Suffolk area, enjoy horse riding and enjoy the sport. So it's something which is a service which we're going to hopefully provide to the equine community. And as we delve into the future decades with farming here in Norfolk, we think it's important on the farm to delve into diver diversification opportunities, to try and add value to the farm as best we can. We're only a small farm, we've got 200 acres of arable land and 300 acres of grassland, and we're trying to make use of everything which we've got. And if that means diversifying by adding value to people's lives through horse riding, then we'll do it. It's something which is going to hopefully be quite sustainable going into the future. So all Roger's doing today with the digger is he's just scraping away about eight meters just from the margins here going into the field and what that's going to do is start a base for the gallops and once the soil's been lifted up and then removed we can then put a membrane in for the gallops and then it can then be covered up with a sand and that's what's essentially going to provide the surface for the gallops so a rider with their horse can start at the bottom end of the field they can then gallop around the whole of the perimeter of the field and then they'll have some exercise with their horse and they can improve their riding ability at, at speed. So they can go, as, a, as the name suggests, gallop with gallops, you can go the full speed that your horse can go. So that's really the value and that's why it requires so much space um, for this amount of land. So it's going to be quite interesting and um, so hopefully it's going to be a successful endeavour. For anyone who watches the channel and is involved in horse riding, and um, this will be available in certainly the next three months. Um, you, can, you can arrive at the farm, you can take your horse around the gallops. We've also as well been busy last year with the menage which was built on the farm and that's been really successful. It's now quite a busy menage and you can ride around the menage improving your dressage and show jumping skills and it's been able to add value to people's lives. So a successful start for the menage and hopefully as well a successful start for the gallops on the farm as well. This sort of business is going to be the future of farming certainly in this country on a smaller scale and possibly in other areas of the world as well so it could be the next uh, big thing doing farm diversification to earn a living out of farming as well as also having a farm and, and trying to farm as well. So we're going down quite an, a difficult route in farming at the moment, unless you can come up with something specialist, which is a bit different to earn money out of it, to earn a living, um, it's gonna be quite difficult, certainly I think, going into the future with farming. So we've got the horse arena here, we've got the gallops going in, and then we've also on the farm as well, got a holiday cottage, which is rented out for tourists, uh, for people who want to stay on the farm and experience some rural Norfolk life. And perhaps holiday cottages might uh, continue to flourish on the farm and we might have some more and something else as well recently which we've been thinking about uh, is some farm glamping pods so a farm weekend for people or a week um, to come and stay on the farm and to enjoy uh, rural Norfolk out here because every day on the farm we take it here for granted living in rural Norfolk and for people who perhaps are from an urban area uh, would just like to get away from the hustle and the bustle of city life and come to a, a rural retreat and um, that's something which we'd like to perhaps get into more of an offer um, in order to make the farm sustainable for the future and to also provide another source of income so that we can invest in uh, better infrastructure for the farm better equipment for the farming side and also for you know things like um, potential farming 
businesses which require a lot of capital before you start them, such as poultry. It's quite an expensive outlay. Uh, there's a lot of capital you need to get into poultry. But we did say earlier on in, in the New Year's res resolutions that we would talk about intensive poultry, um, particularly free range poultry. So um, that's what I'm looking at. And these are just some of the ideas which we've got going on at the moment. And the gallops will be finished certainly in the next couple of months. Uh, so if you are interested in renting uh, the, some of the gallops to ride your horse around them, uh, do feel free to get in contact with us and uh, we will make it happen. So um, thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope it's shined a bit of a light on um, where the farm also gets its, a bit of its income from to um, keep the farm going because not only are we a farm but we're also um, a diversified business. So we're running different rural businesses here um, to try and pay for the farming operations. Um, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it's something a bit different and uh, click the subscribe button. You can also tap the little bell to be notified when there's a new video. Uh, we're going to be doing quite a few more videos now in the week. So there's going to be videos uh, throughout the week and then there's also going to be a video on the Sunday, Sunday morning. We'll try and do more of the Sunday morning at 8 o'clock videos at uh, 8am. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you on the next one.